Anthony Richardson's NFL debut told us everything we need to know. There's a lot of good, a lot of bad. One of the younger quarterbacks in the league just turned 21 back in May. There's going to be growing pains. The Colts, they didn't draft Richardson to be good the first year. They drafted him to be good in the third year. It's a project, a developmental player. Right here, you can see why that's an interception. If you look at this, you might be like, oh, Richardson's pocket presence is so bad. That just isn't true. I thought Richardson looked very poised in the pocket. This is just a footwork and technique issue. You can see he's off balance. He doesn't know how hard to throw it. He sells it. It's an interception. It's not that difficult. But Richardson would definitely bounce back and redeem himself right here. The edge reads that perfectly. That was not a read option. That was actually designed. But Richardson still, that should be a huge loss. Instead, he turns it into a five-yard gain, puts his lower his shoulder, and ends up picking up a couple of extra yards. I mean, that's just, that's a play that, what 95 percent of nfl quarterbacks probably even higher than that aren't going to be able to make that that's just a special play guys like josh allen you know, justin fields lamar jackson make those plays but here richardson does get a completion but still you've got to be careful with throws like that because not only could that have been intercepted but also you're just setting your receiver up for failure on that by taking a big hit so thankfully Pittman does make that catch but richardson definitely needs to put that in a better location Right here, you've got Deion Jackson, who gets a huge gain. Jackson honestly stole the show in this game. He looked like a man possessed. He really put together some good plays, some good drives, and the run game was what was keeping the Colts honestly afloat in this game, keeping them competitive, and that's what it's going to be in the regular season. That's why Jonathan Taylor is expected to return next week for the Colts. He's just he's too important to this team for them to trade him or for them not to pay him, so we'll see what ends up being the contract details with that, but for the Colts, third and two, they end up running this which is a typical Steichen thing the Colts they're going to be running the ball a ton the Eagles ran at 51 percent of the time in 2021 you know 49 percent of the time in 2022 expect the Colts to be even higher they'll be very similar to the Bears very similar to a team like the Falcons right here is nice little screenplay the Colts actually would draw that up later on in this drive Richardson throws it up the middle it's a very good ball high velocity high accuracy and then right here like the idea good coverage though nothing out of it this is the throw that richardson definitely wishes he had i mean alec pierce has to make this catch perfectly thrown ball very tight coverage don't get me wrong but an nfl receiver you just gotta be able to bring that down especially a second round one and there is isaiah mckenzie who was signed to a one-year deal revenge game for mckenzie not kidding but still jackson there jackson played well i just don't want to get too ahead of myself he'd be a very good backup to this team but this next play is interesting because richardson should have had another touchdown that would come back to a hold if that block is made Richardson gets into the end zone because look you see he just runs to the side and he's gonna get in there but it comes back and then the Colts are forced to be on a first and 20 and then sex uh, second and 16 that ball is still high there was a hold and an offensive interference on that so now you're in a third and 16 you throw a little screen back the Colts get a huge chunk of those yards back unfortunately the kick would be no good by free agent acquisition Matt Gay before Richardson I thought he played well in this game he's so young he's a developmental player I mean, you can't expect Richardson to come in here and just light it up to dominate. It's going to take time. And Richardson, just because he did show poise and promise, and he just competes. He's a competitor. He's a leader. You can see that the guys are fighting for him. They want to be there. And I think the Colts, honestly, are going to be built through Jonathan Taylor, built through their defense. Before Shane Steichen, he was the perfect addition to this Colts team because he knows what it takes to build a system around your player. If you look at the Chicago Bears the past couple of seasons, they have been all Justin Fields offensively, but that was without a scheme around Justin Fields. Well, for, for the Colts, you can see they are designing a system built for Richardson, and that's only going to help his development. The offensive line is going to be crucial. I thought, honestly, they did play well in this game. There was a couple of plays where the Bills generated pressure, but against the Buffalo Bills, they've got one of the best you know, top five, top four defenses in football. So but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.